Hi everybody. I wanted to give you um, a stretch for your legs, for your hips. So uh, something like we do on the reformer towards the mini, the, at the end of many of our reformer sessions. And I know it's a favorite of everybody's for the most part. I can't think of anybody who doesn't like this one. So I'm um, going to take you through it. All you need is a, a space. All right. So if you got a nice carpeted area, if you have a yoga mat, great. If you don't, beach towel or nothing. All right. The carpet is good as well. You will need a strap. Um, so if you have a yoga strap, great. If you have an elastic one, great. I like to tie knots at the end so that my hands have something to grip into. But anytime you use something elastic, it can snap, so you need to be careful. Um, a dog leash, um, an a extra long belt, that will work too. You just need something, or even a long towel would be um, handy. So we're going to start off laying on our back. You're going to recognize this right off the bat and understand, oh yeah, that is that stretch. All right, it's just way more fun on the reformer. So making your way down on your mat, make sure you're comfortable. If you need a towel under your head, go for it. If you have a dog leash or if you have a yoga strap, you want the loop. If you don't have a way of looping, you're just going to hold on to the end. But I want you to start off with putting that arch into the strap. And then you're going to hold on to the strap to give you the stretch, all right? Bottom leg, if you keep that leg bent, your lumbar spine, your low back is going to be a little happier. If you take that leg long, that will pull on the low back. Not a bad thing if you got a nice healthy back and your hip flexors will open. But I'm going to demo modifications here and there. So here I am. I'm trying to get the hamstring. So if I let that knee bend, I'm going to miss out. So get that length and get that pull. And let's go ahead, hold out for a good three rounds breath. And what this requires is just a little more upper body action. All right, now we're gonna go for the inner thigh. So I'm gonna back off a little. Think about my left hip staying down and I'm gonna let that right leg reach. Now, it's a little trickier, so you might brace yourself with your elbow so that your body doesn't keep on going. But just opening that inner thigh as much and then pull a little more if you need that stretch. If you don't, you don't, right? And then breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. And breathing in and out. All right, and then here we go. We're gonna take that leg up. I want you to keep that leg straight. Keep that right hip down. Pull the leg across you. And again, use that strap. And this is the IT band one, all right? So if you're thinking, and if that other leg seems like it's in the way, you can just walk it out a bit. All right, good. And then stretch and flex in the foot. We'll add more to it. I'm kind of using my other arm as a counterbalance. And I don't keep flipping over. So now I'm gonna let my pelvis roll and just let both legs go towards the floor and get a twist. And your range of motion is up to you, all right? And then turning your head the opposite direction of your leg, all right? So you get this spiral going over through the spine. All right, breathe in and out, three, two, and one. All right, and then giving yourself a little brace. Let's get that leg back up. Let's get that body back onto the square pelvis. Take your four stretch. You want to bend the knee and then just pull on that strap, hook to your foot. Now pushing the knee away will add a little more of that hip opening. If this does not feel good on your knee, see if you can just open up the knee a little and just make it more about the hip, all right? Play with the angle of the knee. You might not like that severe bend and just feel like you can get in there. Okay. And again, that other leg, you could reach it out. As long as you feel in control of that low back, you can work that. All right, and that's your figure four stretch. Everybody usually enjoys that one. All right, one more good inhale and exhale. And then I'm going to bend that bottom leg so I got some a nice base. And I'm going to release that strap off that foot, switch, and go for the other one. All right. And you just want to be in the arch. 
We're going to start with a hamstring, so you're straight up to the ceiling. Again, if, you, if you're not connected, then you're going to hold on. If you're connected, I can shorten this up, and that way I can get a little more leverage at the base. So hamstring stretch. Now eyeball that the leg is straight up out of your hip socket. It's off to the side, even a little bit. You're kind of missing out on that good hamstring direct line stretch. And then let's hold three, two, easing up. I'm going to pull a little more, and one. And I'm going to go for that inner thigh stretch. So I want to back off my hamstring stretch, anchor my opposite hip, let that leg go away from me. And I'm going to kind of put my left elbow into the floor, my right elbow is there just to so I don't go flipping off to the side. And again, finding the stretch, it's got too much going on. Just pull the leg away from the floor and then see if you can maybe ease back into a little more stretch. You're supporting that leg with that strap. And I'm breathing in three, two, one. Got a little more hip flexion on me. All right, and then I'm going to bring the leg up. We're going to keep it straight. I'm going to send it toward you. I'm going to keep my opposite hip down, right? I'm going to keep that left hip down and just get that IT band. I flex the foot. That adds a little more. You'll know it. If you don't feel it, flex a little harder. Yeah, and if you really anchor the pelvis, then it will get into that IT band line more so. And then we go ahead and let ourselves pick up that pelvis, roll that pelvis, let the legs go towards the floor as much as they want. I still got support. And then I'm going to turn my head the opposite direction and just take a moment in that spiral stretch. Breathing in. And then coming back, give myself a little push, get myself back on the backside. Figure four stretch, bending the knee. Again, if that knee doesn't like as much flexion, you just back off the flexion. It's getting that hip to open up. Bottom leg, stay bent for a moment. Make sure you're good. Push away. And if you're feeling good, you can always extend that leg. And wherever you go, you're not stuck, right? So if that leg felt good for a moment to be straight, but then all of a sudden it doesn't, you go right back to bending it. And keeping that body in a spot where it's good. And I'm going to breathe in three, two, one more. And then I am going to bend that bottom leg so I can have some support and get that strap off my thing. I'm going to put the strap off to the side. Let's bring both knees into the chest. I want you to give them a good hug, all right? And then with the head down, just rock cheek to cheek, hip side to hip side. Give yourself a little back massage. The more you rock, the more you got to pull back, so finding that. And if you find a spot that feels really good to linger on, go for it. Pulling the leg really close to your face will take the rocking pressure up higher across the mid back and lumbar zone up towards the thoracic, letting the legs kind of float away. You're going to get back down towards that sacrum area. Everybody's a little different. And then hugging the legs in, center, chin to the chest. I want you to scoop up, make yourself in the tightest ball you can. Breathe in and exhale. Lengthen down to the mat, chin to the chest, exhale. Scoop up. I am using my upper body strength. I'm using my arms to pull. And then inhale, exhale lengthen away, one more chin to the chest, exhale, breathe in, and I'm going to lengthen the way, head goes down, foot goes down, foot goes down, I'm going to stretch my legs out, I want to flex the feet, take a moment, imagine you're standing on your feet, you're just that tall, beautiful posture, with the thumbs leading, inhale, slice up through the air, Exhale, slice back down, leading with your pinkies. All right. I'm taking an inhale. Feel the length. 
and exhale, keep the length. And last one, breathe in. And exhale, coming back down. Now, getting up off the floor, we're gonna go through that just because that's last bit. And I know you wanna get up off the floor at some point. So I'm gonna have you roll over so you end up on your hands and knees. For some of us, the knees are not gonna like this, so we're not gonna linger there. So you can watch me first if you want. I'm gonna roll over, go any side that feels comfortable, find myself on my hands and knees, Take a foot, any foot, go with the natural, bring it in front, push, curl the other toe, push through the thigh and get yourself upright, all right? Have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you all back in the studio and making these machines home, all right? Take care. <laughs>